Welcome back, everybody. Canadian fashion design students are getting the chance to kickstart their careers thanks to the brand new Suzanne Rogers Fashion Institute. Here to tell us about it all, please welcome Suzanne. Good to see you. Good morning, Dina. Thanks for having me this morning. This is huge for us because well, you and Ed decided to, Edward Rogers, come together and put a million dollars towards this, which will go a long way to furthering careers that would otherwise just whittle away. Well, we're here to support the Canadian fashion industry. So for for me, my husband's always known I've had a great passion in supporting Canadian talent, and I've been pretty active in um, the Canadian fashion scene for a few years, yeah. helping nurturing new talent. And a few years ago, Robert Ott and I came together. I'd, I'd been attending the uh, Exodus fashion shows at Ryerson. And I always turn to him and say, okay, so what's next with, these, with this talent that I see coming down the runway? What happens to these students? And there was never a clear answer. Yeah. And because Canada does not have a fellowship program at all, so no university provides any post-graduate um, post uh, study here in Canada. So we came up with this uh, with this fellowship program where these students, the you know the best and the brightest in this country, um, who are at Ryerson in third and fourth year and and, and uh, postgraduates can apply for this fellowship program, and the fellowship program will offer uh, mentorship. It will offer international studies. So if one of these talented students wants to apply to Central Saint Martins in London, I will, this institute will pay for their studies. Huge. It will pay for international runway opportunities to stage internationally. So. This fellowship opens the door to these uh, to these students that didn't have this opportunity before, yeah. and it will be the best and the brightest in this country. So yeah. applications start in April, and we'll be taking on up to six students uh, a year to nurture and mentor them and advance their careers and get them, you know, internationally recognized. This is what this is about: is taking the incredible talent that we have in this country and pushing it forward. Yeah, and giving and, them the opportunity, and giving them the opportunity to really make a mark you got uh, it. internationally and 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 hopefully you know, have an amazing business in. Canada. Yeah. No, it's a huge uh, it's a struggle for many designers to get a business going and get that recognition. And this is what uh, this is what this fellowship is all about that we never sure. had before in this country. It costs money. You so, got to buy the materials, and then where is it being shown? And then how do you get that. it seen? All of that. Uh, and unless you're connected, you can't possibly ever have it. You know, make it to any sort no, of mainstream and this market. Is, this fellowship will get these these yeah. these the best and the brightest connected in this country. Good on you. Speaking of, let's take a look at some. Okay, okay. we are going to begin with this gorgeous model featuring. Christian Nielsen's amazing designs. I'm all about the earth yeah, tones for Yeah, it's a beautiful, winter. beautiful outfit. So, uh, Christian is a Richardson graduate from the Ryerson Fashion Design Program, um, with the goal of designing menswear that bends the line between business and casual attire. Yeah. His aspiration is to attain an apprenticeship position with a master tailor. Kevin, you need this look for your uh -huh. casual Fridays. <laughs> it's, the collection <laughs> emphasizes the comfy, cozy appeal for men's uh, clothing that is not only stylish but comfortable. Each piece was created using all natural fabrics, which is perfect for layering. Uh, the relaxed pants are made from 100% cotton and are tapered at the ankle. The button-up shirt is 100% wool, featuring a unique leather toggle at the top. Um, an East Coast inspired cable knit pattern. This outfit was part of Look 5. Christian created and was showcased and created at the Mass Exodus show. Beautiful. 2016. It's so what you know, another gra a graduate from yeah. from Ryerson. So it's warm. Lots it's of rich. talent. You could take it to work. Yeah, you could take it to yeah. Muskoka. You could take great. it on a first date. <laughs> You're winning with this. Thank you. I love it. I want this outfit. Never mind. <laughs> Up next, Wanza Song, a recent graduate from yes. Ryerson. So Wanza is a recent graduate from Ryerson um, Fashion Design Program. Since graduating, Song has been immersing herself in the creative sector by collaborating with local photographers. Styling, editor, doing styling editorials, assisting with design and production. A Canadian ready to wear both feel, which is another wonderful Canadian designer we have. Um, the beige turtleneck dress, sleeveless, a line with um, asymmetrical turtleneck and hemline. Uh, you know, Beautiful. the stylist. You know, the details, the grommets, uh, the, the pocket on the left, how it's sewn. Um, the dress is made out of double point knit, which gives the garment more structure and emphasis on its boxy silhouettes. Uh, the crisp lines while maintaining the stretch and comfortable of, of a knit fabric. And the jacket is reversible as well. The jacket's beautiful. Oh, look yeah, at the back, the too. Can we see the back? The interest in the back is stunning. So it's reversible, and she's got it uh, navy blue and, and a beautiful, beautiful green here. Yeah, if you can't read it on yeah. camera, it's a beautiful two-tone that actually blends beautiful so complementary yeah. to one another. Yeah, oversized green. trenched with the exaggerated lapels, sleeve belts, swelled pockets on both sides of the body. Oh, yeah. I love it. So chic. So clean finished. Beautiful finish. Yeah.
So modern. Thank you. Up next, last but not least, we are going to feature the work of Sarah Mitchell, a third year fashion design student. So, Sarah is a third year fashion design student. Her main design interests include outdoor sportswear and activewear. She likes to create clothing that is preppy and classic. This menswear jacket is designed using 100% wool. This interpretation of the classic men's coat can be worn casually or for a dress up. It was inspired by the Ivy League varsity sports attire. Uh, the jacket was designed as a third year project exploring construction of a tailored garment to create a men's wool jacket. Why so serious? Smile for me. Look, <laughs> look, look how great. fresh you look, you look at this. Come on now. You walk down the it. runway. You look great. Yeah, show us a little inside detail. Yeah. This is what we're loving. Now you, you see, there now you go. it's happening. Now it's coming to life. Yeah, it looks I love it all. Again, thank you so much, so, Suzanne. So these students, um, these are all potentially fabulous candidates for the SSR. FI fellows, yeah. um, you know, this is the talent that I want to showcase. This is the talent that I hope we will, you know, be able to put on a stage internationally. Um, the application process begins next month. I'm so excited. Yes. I want to see, you know, arcade designers dressing Oscar, red carpet, everything. Yes. I want to really, this is my dream. This is my goal. This is this your is, baby. Bring it, yeah, right? Nurturing that talent. All making this great talent we've got in this country. Canadian yeah. design yeah. stars. The talent is all here. It. They it's just here. needed the opportunity. Just need to push. Get them in the yes. right doors. Yes. We're, we're gonna, it's going to be great. Read more <laughs> about the Suzanne Rogers Fashion Institute, guys. Support in any way you think you can. This is so important. Like you said, I can't believe we don't have a program of this kind in Canada. So thank you so we much, Suzanne. Now. You all look awesome. Designers, keep at it. We'll be back with more BT after thank this. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Great job.